A week or so ago, I went ahead and got a new shotgun, and since this is gonna be used primarily for hunting, I went ahead and camouflaged it. And this is one of the more simple ways to go ahead and camouflage any firearm, and uh, I'll bring you through the simple steps. But first, I'll let you know that this is unloaded. Okay, so let's hop to it. There's a few supplies that you're gonna need. Of course, you're gonna need the spray paint that you're gonna be using. I'm using a desert tan and a brown. You're going to need some adhesion promoter. This is really going to help stick your paint to your surface. Optional is some barbecue paint. And you're going to need a mesh material. This is a material that I use for a ghillie suit, but pretty much any wide hold jersey material type thing will do. Doesn't matter what color it is, mine just happened to be camouflage. You're going to need some tape and a little bit of modeling clay. Or if you'd like, you can use some erasers. And the reason for the modeling clay or the eraser is simply to cover up your bead or your front side post so that you don't accidentally spray over it. To make things easier on yourself, you can go ahead and use a utility clamp and some saw horses. The first thing you're gonna to need to do is use adhesion promoter. You're gonna spray this as your base. And what adhesion promoter is, is a clear primer. So it's gonna help your paint stick better to plastics and all that other stuff. So go ahead and paint this and let it dry. Once that's done, you're gonna to wanna to put two thin coats of your base color. In my case, it's tan, so go ahead and do that. You wanna allow ample time between each coat to allow the paint to dry. If you rush through it, you're gonna get drips of paint and it's gonna make it look bad. While the base coat is drying, you can go ahead, if you have a second barrel, to paint that as well. Now, this barrel is not gonna be used a lot. It's just for hunting, right? So I'm not gonna be heating this up, so it's okay that I use a standard paint for the barrel. However, for this home defense barrel, I'm gonna be having a lot of fun with this, shooting in the woods and uh, other stuff. So this one's gonna get pretty hot. So I decided to use a barbecue paint for this and simply just spray it on like any other. Go ahead and take your mesh material and simply drape it over your firearm. Once you've got it pretty much covering all the spaces that you're gonna be painting, go ahead and take your secondary color and lightly brush over in diagonal stripes. And there you go. Now for an added step, if you want a little bit more dimension to your camouflage pattern, or if you don't like the fact that there's too much contrast between the base layer and the top layer of paint, you can go ahead and take the second layer and from a, you know, a little bit further distance and with a lot of speed, go ahead and spray and uh, gently graze the surface of your firearm. This will fill in a little bit of these cracks here and it'll also add a little bit of dimension, the darker and the lighter part of the top coat. So once you're done with that, hopefully your firearm will look somewhat like this. Allow about 24 hours for it to cure. Otherwise, there's a chance that um, you might scrape it off because the paint will be soft. Hope you guys liked the video. Please share, rate, and like, and I'll see you next time. Take care out there.